Summer season is upon us. My kids started summer camp this week and today they are off having fun, playing with their little friends, playing games, and they could not be more excited. And that makes me so happy because I get to come on here and be excited about sharing my financial journey with you guys for Transfer Tuesday. So of course I do this every single week and I basically share what small financial moves I've made during the week so that I can get to my bigger financial goals faster. I have found that personally financial progress every single week makes it a lot easier to achieve my big financial goals instead of waiting for a once a month transfer or a once a month payment. I've just found that the weekly progress is so helpful. A lot of you guys join me on Transfer Tuesday by leaving comments here in in my videos and some of you make your own videos too. I wanted to shout out Michael who also makes his own Transfer Tuesday videos inspired by the Transfer Tuesday movement and he recently paid off all of his debt and he is now debt free so congratulations to him that is so exciting and I love seeing the progress that you guys make with your Transfer Tuesday and financial goals. So today we're gonna to be talking about one of my financial goals for 2024, and that is our house savings account for the year. And that is a goal that we have set at $10,000 for the year on top of all of our other goals. And that is money that we will be putting toward an eventual house purchase. I am always constantly changing when I wanna buy this house. And I think right now I'm at the point where it's probably a year or two away, probably two years away. And we're gonna just kind of see what this market does for the next couple of years and get through 2024 and beyond and see where we end up. But don't hold me to that because next week I might come on here and say that we're moving tomorrow because I just am always constantly switching back and forth on this particular goal. But until we have a firm date for buying another home, looking at other homes, we are just saving up money. And this week we have a lot of different transfers. I had money from multiple different sources and I'm gonna go over all of those. I think I had six different transfers. So let's get into the numbers and I'll show you guys what I did with our money and how that has moved our goal closer to that $10,000. So last week when we had ended the week for the house savings goal, we were at $2,479.85. We were really close to $2,500. And today we are gonna get over that, of course, hooray. So the first transfer into this account is actually one I made last week, but it just had not gone through yet. And that was $21 from our chicken account. And that was just basically every time I think about buying coffee, but I make it at home instead, I put a little bit of money toward this goal. I don't do it every single week. I kind of only do it when I remember. And sometimes I forget until too late. So that transfer did not hit last week, but it did this week. So $21 went into the house savings fund. And I am gonna be trying to, for the next few weeks, next month or so, try to make coffee at home all the time, just because we are going to be traveling later in the summer. So when we do go on our vacation, I will be purchasing coffee every day outside of my home. So I can just save up all of my purchases for vacation and enjoy that luxury while I am enjoying a luxurious, luxurious vacation. So that is the first transfer. And then the next transfer was actually two different ones from the same source. So I use Upside to get cash back on my gas purchases. They also have some convenience stores and groceries and also a few restaurants, but I don't really use those. I mainly just use it when I purchase gas um, because I go to a gas station where I get 25 cents off and then I also get the cash back on top of that. So it kind of all adds up to make buying gas a little less stressful and a little less expensive. So I did have two cash outs from Upside this week one back uh, toward the beginning of the week and then one that hit today, this morning. So the first one was $7.39 and the second one was $9.52. So both of those were from Upside. I had two cash outs. I try to do it around $10, but sometimes I just get a little impatient and I want one for Transfer Tuesday, so I will cash out a little bit early. So I did have two this week. And then on last week's video, I had a commenter mention that they had a bunch of different transfers for the day from things, various sources, including Ibotta. And that really made me remember that I also have Ibotta, but I don't always remember it or use it. So I kind of forgot about Ibotta, but I checked it and I had a balance on there of $32. So I did cash out my 
I bought a balance and I put it toward this goal. So I love all the different little apps that you can earn cash back. They're not big earners. You're not going to get rich doing it, but they're super easy to use most of them. And they are something you can just do really quickly when you're buying gas or groceries or whatever they are for. And then you just get a few dollars here and there. But when you put it toward a big goal and it all adds up, it, it over time, it really does make a difference. I love that and that's why I leave all of the apps I use the most in my description box so you can scroll through and look at those. I use other ones as well so if you're ever looking for different apps let me know or if you have one that I don't know about or have never talked about let me know because I'm a big fan of using them so I'm happy to try out anything and do review videos as well so let me know. And then the next transfer was a bigger one and this was because I had an interest payout on my Wealthfront account and I did not use the full amount for this, but I did use a good chunk of it. So I moved over 57.63 of the interest that I earned on this account toward this account. I did that because at the time it gave me an even number balance. Of course, that just changed this morning when I had my upside transfer come through, but that 739 kind of put me over. But I did have the even number for a minute, which is why it was 57.63 for the interest that I moved over. And so at the beginning of the month, every month you get interest paid on your high yield savings account, or if you're using Wealthfront, it's called a cash account. So you get your interest paid and then that money, you can do whatever you want. It's nice when your money is earning money. So I moved a little bit over toward this goal and got us to that next level. And then the final transfer was the automated $100 that I have go to this account every single week because I have $100 every single week. So no matter what, we're going to be having a good chunk every single month go toward this account. So depending on the month, we'll have either $400 or $500 automatically go into this account to build up this balance, which is fantastic. And that has been making a big difference since we upped it from $50 earlier in the year. So our new total is $2,707.39. That is really great. I'm happy with that. We're definitely over the $2,500 mark. So we have a lot of financial goals going on at the same time. We are putting money away for retirement, obviously, for my kids' college fund, for all sorts of different things that I don't even talk about on the channel. But this one is the one that I am hopefully going to be catching up sooner rather than later and getting to that goal because I would really like to hit the goal of $10,000 for the year so that we are a little bit further along on our journey to buy our next home. And that's it for me today. I actually have to go to an appointment now, so I have got to go. Comment club, if you watch this far, type in below, happy June, because it's June and I love this month. It's so fun and I hope you guys are having a great month so far and it's gonna be fantastic. So I will see you guys next Tuesday as we work on our goals together. Happy June, see you guys then, bye.